aka Emotep, doing this video on let's do this video on uh progressive self talk or progressive speech. Uh I feel it's very important for us to articulate ourselves in a way that it moves us forward. Uh, the things we say, even if we are, even if we're saying things such as simple things like I, I can't do this or, you know, um, I'm so this but you're using that as something to break yourself down we have to get into a habit of using things that progressively uh, uplift us whether whether we're joking or not because our subconscious cannot tell if we're joking with ourselves it believes everything we say as truth it believes everything we think as truth and it will eventually manifest the reality that we have programmed into it so progressive speech it's just setting things up it, it's you don't want to set yourself up for When you approach a situation, you want to set yourself up in the best position to come out of that situation in a better place. Such as saying you can't do something versus something is difficult, but you will overcome the challenge. Or seeing things as challenges and not just problems. Um what else just simple simple things in life just we have to be more aware of why we say the things we say and we have to study the actual words that we're using a lot of the times and the English language is a coded language if you aren't aware of the codes in the language, that's the first step to take. And then once you start studying the words, like if you go into the etymology of certain words, you get a better grasp of, of what that word is expressing or expelling. Because words are spells. They're vibrational frequencies that can either lock you down or unlock you. This is why mantras are important. Um, affirmations are important. In this, in daily conversation, you will notice if you complain every single day, what do you think you're going to get every single day? Something to complain about versus you are grateful each day and joyful each day it's a better chance that you're going the next day for you is going to have more grace and more joy and a lot of us may not think of it that important because when I when I correct not correct when, when I say things a certain way or someone says something to me and they don't actually say what they mean and that's let me see an example okay I'll give you an example someone's telling you that they're, they're being a complainer and they're saying um they're saying to you someone else can't do something or they can't do something I would say that person 
is not choosing to do something or they're at that moment they're not in a position to do something versus saying they can't do it because you cannot tell someone what they can't do you can actually you can tell someone what they can't do but that's just your opinion that's that's most most of the time when we say someone can't do that we're saying we don't want them to do that and you have to read into the language that people use with you a lot of times and they'll and then once you get to that point and sit and you're 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 like you're breaking the code for them then they'll say that's not what i mean and a lot of times we'll say that oh i didn't mean it that way that's why we got to start articulating ourselves and learning how to communicate what we actually mean, what we're actually saying a lot of the times. And I I say it takes practice because you have to install another uh your own program. And in order to do that, you probably have to do a lot of deep deprogramming to take away the old stuff that was in you uh, that kept replaying. So you got to keep refreshing yourself with progressive thought and things that move you forward versus speech that either stagnates you or drops you down. If you're speaking in any of the words that you're, you, the words that you're speaking are words such as can't try um we'll just stick with those two right now can't can't and try are two words that we shouldn't if we exit those words out of our vocabulary it will help us out a lot because we can only do or not do trying is already giving yourself room for failure saying can't is already stopping you from ever doing so instead of saying you can't do something just set it up better say at this moment you know it's, it's not happening or I haven't figured out a way to do this yet or I'm in the process of putting myself in a position to do something. Saying saying it that way helps a lot. And such as you saying, I can try to do this. We can say we'll put in our best efforts to do to do this. Replace try with you may have to extend what you're what you're saying a little bit longer, but it's setting up yourself better. Because you can say like I can say, oh I'm going to try to explain this to you, or I'm trying to explain this to you. I can say instead of saying that, I I would say I am explaining this to you and you may not be receiving it uh, the way I intended you to receive it. Or I am figuring out ways to make this more uh, understandable for you. Versus saying I'm trying to make you get what I'm saying or it's just the wording is very important when we and you'll notice study study anyone who I guess reaches a certain level of su success and study their ways of speaking and you'll notice they speak a certain way on purpose and it becomes a habit after a while but to 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 start a habit or to form a habit, you have to do things over and over again. 
So you have to keep practicing on progressive speech. I think that's the, I'll do the name of this video as progressive speech.